Hi, welcome to the vlog. I hope that you're safe and you're doing just fine. My name is Alfred Justoniedo, but you can call me Josh. I am 17 and a grade 12 STEM student from Notre Dame of the Youngest University. And today, I will be making a 3D model of the plant cell as a requirement of my performance task for my general biology one class in school. I hope that you'll keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started. Here are the materials needed for our 3D model structure. And for the information of everyone, these are recycled materials which are leftovers from my different performance tasks in junior high school. The first part is cutting the carton to make the foundation of the plant cell. After cutting, I immediately prepared the poster paints in a palette to color the strips. Due to limited resources, I only have blue, yellow, and red poster paint, so I mix the blue and yellow to have a green poster paint. After mixing, I started to paint the other side of the carton that I have cutted earlier. After plotting the parts of the plant cell, here I am doing some minor adjustments and adding some details. Here I am having a good time talking to my friends while doing some minor adjustments.
So hi guys, it is now the second day and I had my haircut done and now I will show to you the finished product of my 3D model of the plant cell. And at this juncture, I will explain to you the different parts and functions of the plant cell. So plant cell is a eukaryotic cell that is a membrane bound organelle. It is surrounded by a rigid cell wall and plant cell has its own few distinctive features such as cell wall, large vacuole, and plastids. Plant cell has its own different parts and now we will start with the outermost structure which is the cell wall. Cell wall is made up of cellulose. It is a rigid layer that surrounds the cell membrane which provides the cell protection, rigid support, and shape. And the microscopic channels here are called plasmodesmata. It traverses the cell wall of the plant cell and enables transport and communication between them. And in this part, we have the plasma or cell membrane which supports and protects the cell and also controls the movement of materials in and out of the cell. So next here is the golden part of my 3D model, which is the cytoplasm. It is a fluid substance that fills the cell and also holds all the organelles. Here is the nucleus. It is a membrane-bound organelle which contains the hereditary material of the cell and helps with protein synthesis. Here in the centermost part is the nucleolus which aids in protein formation and RNA synthesis. This part that surrounds the nucleus is called endoplasmic reticulum, which aids in the movement of materials around the cell. The ones that has black beads or black dots attached to it are called rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is responsible in manufacturing proteins, while the black dots or black beads that attach to it are called ribosomes, which is responsible in helping the rough endoplasmic reticulum in manufacturing proteins. The ones that are not covered with black beads or black dots is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which contains enzymes that helps to build molecules. Next is the large vacuole, which is filled with watery substance that strengthens the cell and helps to support the entire plant by making it erect. Here are the Golgi bodies that is responsible in storing and preserving all the substances made by the cell. This black cup here is called vesicle, which is involved in metabolism, transport, and enzyme storage. The red cup here is called peroxisome, which is involved in various roles such as converting fatty acids into sugar and also assisting chloroplasts in photorespiration. The white cup here serves as the lysosome. It is called the suicide bag for the reason that it is responsible in cell renewal and it also breaks down all the cell parts. The two green parts here are called mitochondria which produces energy and is responsible for cellular respiration. And lastly, these are called chloroplast, which is the site for photosynthesis. That concludes my video. I hope you did learn something. And again, I am Alfred Justaniedo, and thank you so much for watching.